Are you ready for this sickness? Let's get into it! <laughs> Okay guys, this is part six of my Phoenix Fan Fusion 2019 Comic Call signed comics. This is this one was so great, guys. Uh, it was so great to meet Denny O'Neill, Dennis O'Neill. I mean, he's been editor and and all these different things for so many different comics, uh, especially the Batman and Joker's. And I have so many great Batman and Joker books. And other books that have already been multiple signed. And to add him to that has been such a pleasure. Um, he was such a nice guy. I gave him key to the city. Um, I'm, thank you so much, Phoenix Fan Fusion, for getting him out there. To me, it means the world. To meet these creators of things that I love so much. Um, we're just going to jump into it. It's just dedicated to him. I might have other books that are double and triple signed in other piles, and we'll get to that, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get into it. So we got Daredevil number 181, one of my older books. It's The Death of Electra. It's already signed by Jim Shooter and Klaus Jansen, and now I added Denny O'Neill to the mix. So that's my personal book, triple signed. Oh, man, it's so exciting. Another book that I already had signed. Now I have two. One of these might be available. It's Iron Man 200, uh, Gideon, and and the first Iron Monger or whatever. This is a pretty big book for Iron Man fans that like that stuff. A lot of it's based on Iron Man 1, the movie, you know, that started the whole MCU deal. There it is. Um, that's a big book. Um, it already was signed by Shooter, and now it's signed by Denny O'Neill. Gorgeous placement. Um means the world to me vengeance of bane first printing first bane guys signed in bronze now i'm telling you guys Danny neil's old <laughs> and look at that signature it's beautiful it is beautiful he took his time he was friendly uh i had a very nice conversation with him unfortunately a lot of these guys were so busy that i could not interview him i mean i really couldn't really interview anyone there was always something going on but I did my very best to cover the show and panel and do it justice for Phoenix Fan Fusion as well for Economics and Comics. And, um, you know, the signings and these videos too are very great coverage for them as well. Uh, my first printing of the Batman, the Killing Joke. Look at that. Gorgeous. God, that's so gorgeous, dude. One of my favorite books, dude. I am a huge Joker fan. You can see behind me. and You, I don't know, over here is a bunch. Joker number one, guys. Love it. He's got it signed. Beautiful. You know, a lot of people give everyone a lot of problems. Oh, man, you know, why didn't you get a slap? Dude, it means something completely different to me. And, and whether if it's slabbed or not doesn't really bother me. Honestly, I'm not going to read this. You know, I, I want to keep it in this condition, and it's for me. I've already read the book, but my point is some people get them signed and they want to keep reading it, or they get signed in the interior, or some people just, you know, there's all types of collectors. They just sign, slabbed, and put away, whatever. I like a mix of everything. But when I go to Comic Con, or excuse me, Fan Fusion, they can't call it that anymore. It's so crazy. Uh, I, I go for it. I want these creators on my books. When we get to Roy Thomas, you guys are going to freak out. I can tell you that. But you're probably freaking out right now because a lot of these books are big books, okay? So there you go. One of my favorites. I'm so excited. There's another copy of uh, the Iron Man 200. He signed underneath him in the bronze underneath Shooter. So I recently picked this book up at a comic shop. I said, do you guys have one? And they're like, yeah, and I was hoping McFarlane would show up. He did not, but it's ready for McFarlane, and it's signed by Denny O'Neill already on the top. So I'm really excited. I have these books in the past. I finally got a decent copy of it. I'm really happy. All right, let's see here. This is the other cover of Batman 500. Um, let me grab the other one. But it's signed by Denny O'Neill right there. Oh, 
I'm going to add Kevin Nolan to this one as well. Um, because he was there, and they did a lot of the same books. So, Denny O'Neill and Kevin Nolan. But we'll stop or start right here with Denny O'Neill. Okay. What I'm going to go do, ahead and do is that cover. Now you have the special gatefold cover. And that one is signed by Danny O'Neill and Kevin Nolan cover. So there you go. I got one, two of those. I believe I gave one to David Urbina for helping me out. He's such a nice guy and a great sub for the channel. Great person, great family, very nice. Love the guy. Gonna be a good friend of mine, I could tell. But double signed, there you go. Uh, we might as well get <laughs> Larry, uh, Kevin Nolan out of the way. I also have a special variant cover that I got. It was Batgirl number 50. He did that cover. Black and white variant. And he signed it in the like an orange that I had to match. Dude, that's fire. Fire. Kevin O'Neill. Okay. Now, there is a fire... 1992 annual Batman, 16th annual cover. Uh, I think it's Jim Lee. I'm not sure. No, it's Sam Keith. But Danny O'Neill had a part to do with it. He signed there on the side in bronze. That pops so good. Now, I got a bunch of these. This is, of course, The Death of Robin, Batman number 428. Signed. Then you got the special cover of the 497 where Batman break or Bane breaks Batman's back signed as well as the other cover there you go signed now he also did X-Men 600 he was a part of it so there you go I got a bunch of those signed some of those will be available one Two, and it looks really great too. Two, and three. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I love this cover right here. That is the Legend, Batman Legend of the Dark Knight number 50, and it's uh, I did one of the most classic images ever, and I got him to sign it in the bronze. Fire. Now. DC UPC logo variant. There you go. Rare, signed, bronze, fire. There's another one right there. Number 533. Bronze on the top. Fire DC logo variant. Uh oh. Another one. DC logo UPC variant. Signed in bronze. Catwoman number 7. Okay, this was a special Ace Comic-Con foil variant, Remembering 428. Now, he signed it on the cover right there in bronze, but I also have it signed in the first page by uh, Mike DiCarlo. It's a double signed. And let's see here. Another two. Batman 428's Death of Robin signed by Mike DiCarlo. Er, <laughs> sorry, Denny O'Neill. Super stoked. That's one of my favorite books. What an experience it is to meet these people. That's why I was saying that it was so incredible. Phoenix Fan Fusion did such... It's like they were listening to me. After all the years of them sending me uh, questions at the end of the sh shows. Who would you like to see? And I kept putting the same names over and over. Big names. And they they listened. They really did. And they knocked it out of the park, man. De to see Danny O'Neill um, and to get some, some memories here with him was quite amazing. As well as Kevin Nolan, too. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed and you're keeping count. And we're going to keep going. I think next up is part seven. Okay? Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please hit that like button and subscribe now. Here's another video for your sickness entertainment. Have a great one. Bye-bye.